finish his business. Talking that bread, let me go on here, make a sentence. When it's time to do work, let me extend the hammer. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jones at 4K, bringing you guys another Forza Horizon 5 drift tune and build video. Today we got the 1985 HDT BK Commodore Group A. We're going to get into the build of this car and then into the tune. And then we're going to take it out to see if we can put up a million points down the mountain. All right, let's not waste no time diving right into the build of the car. For the motor swap, we have the 6.2 V8. We did leave the car real wheel drive. And then for the aspiration, we used uh, the root style supercharger. We have the race clutch, race transmission, the race drive line, and then we have the drift diff. On the platform and handling, we have the race brakes, drift springs and dampers. We have the race front and rear roll bars. We have the race uh, roll cage, and then we have a race weight. But our own appearance, I didn't touch anything because you're only offered the Forza pieces. For the tires, we have the drift tire compound for the tires. For the width in the front, we have a 245 up front. And then we have a 275 in the rear. For the wheel choice, we have the specialized wheels and we have the American Racing VF302s. And then for the rim size, uh, we have 18s front and rear. I was really debating on leaving them stock at 16s, but I went with 18s front and rear. Ooh, wait a minute. That's supposed to be 17s front and rear. I do apologize, guys. And then for the track width, we have it maxed out in the front. And for the track width in the rear, we have it maxed out in the rear. Under the engine, we have the race intake, stock fuel system, stock ignition, race valves, race cams, race exhaust, stock block, race pistons and compression, race supercharger, race flywheel, stock oil and cooling, and stock intercooler. So pretty much what I did was I put all the weight reducing parts in the engine besides the supercharger, because it obviously adds a little bit of weight. And that's the build guys. Now jumping into the tune, we have 35, 24 front and rear tire pressure. We have a 335 first final drive, a 224 first gear, a 164 second gear, a 128 third gear, a 109 fourth, a 98 fifth gear, and a 0 0.89 sixth gear. For the alignment, we have negative four degrees camber in the front, positive 0 0.2 degrees camber in the rear. We have positive 0 0.2 degrees toe in the front with negative 0 0.3 degrees toe in the rear. And for the caster angle, we have six degrees. For the roll bars, we have 34.4 in the front and 31.7 in the rear. For the springs, we have a 784.1 pound spring in the front and a 403.7 pound spring in the rear. And then for the ride height, I made the ride height even at 6.7 in the front and 6.7 in the rear. For the dampening, we have 10.8 front rebound stiffness with a 10.1 rear rebound stiffness. And for the bump stiffness, we have 3.5 in the front and 3.5 in the rear. And adjust the arrow for the braking. The braking should be, I'm assuming I missed this somehow. This should be 80, 65. We're going to have 80 balance and then 65 brake pressure. And then for the diff, we have 100, 100. That's the build. And this was a tune. Let's take it down the mountain to see if we can put up a million points. All right, guys, we done made it to the top of the mountain. Let's take it down here to see if we can put up a million points.
We put a 1,062,000 man in this car. This car is really nice. Like, like no cap. This car, this car is really, really nice for it to be an 85 model. Like it, it has a really good, uh, it feels like a really good platform for drifting. And I'm really glad that I decided to build it. Cause I'm a big fan of the Holdings and I really, really like this one. Like I was back and forth, whether I wanted to do the 2J or the LS swap, but I just ended up doing the LS swap. I mean, it just seems more reasonable to do so. But guys, that's gonna be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on the video, comment down below if you got any suggestions or if you wanna tell me I suck at driving. Either way, I do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as it helps me grow and reach out to more people. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.